The art world is stunned. They are shocked. They can't believe it this morning after the astonishing record-breaking sale of a rare masterpiece. Leonardo da Vinci's Salvatore Mundi was auctioned last night for more than, listen to this price, hold on to your pearls, $450 million, easily surpassing previous records. The buyer is anonymous. Two weeks ago, that painting that depicts Jesus was here. Look at that, Charlie. Made an yes. appearance in Studio 57. We were in the same room. Tony DeCopel joins us now with the latest. Tony the buyer is anonymous. I think we can say we are not the buyer. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's why we're we can, sitting here. <laughs> it's yeah. a staggering, staggering sum of money for a work of art once thought lost to history forever. But with a price tag of nearly half a billion dollars, someone now possesses the only privately held Da Vinci painting in the world and the bragging rights that go along with it. Who will give me 120? Inside an overflowing auction house in New York City. Will you give me 290, Alex? Packed with some eager to add to their collection. 400 million. And others who just wanted to bask in the spectacle. History was on sale. Leonardo Salvatore Mundi selling here at Christie's. 400 million dollars is the bid, and the piece is sold. Throw in some 50 million dollars worth of fees. And this Da Vinci, one of fewer than 20 paintings the Italian Renaissance master ever created, now finds itself in the record books. Tonight was definitely the most exciting moment of my career. Christie's co-chairman Alex Roeder took the winning bid over the phone. There was no chit-chat, there was no banter, uh, especially at these price levels. Painted by Da Vinci on a walnut panel in the 1500s, it was once owned by King Charles I, but then vanished only to reappear at the turn of the 20th century, changing hands a number of times, likely by some who had no idea what they were holding. When I realized what it was, I was, I was frightened. Art collector Roger Simon acquired the piece in 2005, but doubted the 26-inch tall oil painting was a true da Vinci. So here was something that was thought to be lost, could then be studied and looked at. It was scary, but also I was aware of a kind of, of the importance of it. And again, some art experts maintain that the painting is a replica, saying the heavy wear and restoration mask the author's, the true author of the work. And it was said to be sold by a Russian billionaire who bought it in 2013 for nearly $128 million. We are told now that the painting will be leaving Da Vinci's. We don't know the buyer, but we can tell you he paid more than double the previous record for a painting at auction. Big jump in price. Tony, how do we know it's a he? <laughs> true. That's true. Good. And what, right. what, does, what good does it do to have bragging rights if nobody knows who you are? I would right. want somebody to know. <laughs> well, definitely, definitely wasn't <laughs> Oprah. She's had some major art where it was a top secret that no one knew. I know this isn't one of them. Well, when it was here, it looked like you guys weren't even breathing next to it. Yes. It's true. true. Yeah. It could be a country, too. Back in 2005, it was only $10,000. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. Tony, thank you. Thank you, Tony.